Cow Pack Cowgirls by Lisa Logan. In the holidays, my cousin and I would wait for our Uncle Jack to pick us up in his dusty old truck. Uncle Jack would buy us ice creams at the general store along the way. It was a long drive to the farm. The farm was a dairy farm and we both liked to help with milking the cows. Uncle Charlie milked the cows at dawn and dusk and we would help bring them to the dairy shed and help by letting them through the gate. One morning it was raining so we put on our rubber gum boots and went to help Uncle Charlie with the cows at the milking shed. It was a very wet, muddy morning. Uncle Charlie asked us to look after the gate and let the cows in one at a time to be milked in the stalls. So my cousin and I went to the gate to let the cows in. It was extra muddy outside the gate and the cows did not want to come in. They did not want to walk in the mud. The cows did not want to be milked on this wet, muddy morning. So my cousin and I went outside the gate to shoo them inside to be milked in the shed. As soon as we stepped off the edge, we were stuck. Both of us in knee-deep mud and cow poo and we could not even take a step. Our boots were stuck in the mud, just like suction cups. Oh yes, we were definitely stuck. We both looked at each other eyes wide. I laughed and my cousin laughed and it was very funny indeed. My cousin picked up a cow poo pat. Oh no, I said. Oh yes, she said, as she popped and pegged the cow poo at me. It splattered in splotches. It's on. I was covered in cow poo and mud. Oh, yuck, I yelled as I picked up a cow poo pat and threw it right back at my cousin. Splat, whack, pop, bam, fling, hurl, plunk, went the poo. And we kept going, laughing all the way, becoming covered in brown and we were, had lots of muddy cow poo on us. Oi, you kids, stop. Stop right now, Aunty Pearlie's voice rang out, calling us back to reality. Get out of the mud, she said sternly, up to the house, pointing her finger at the farmhouse. Over there, she said, on the lawn. We obeyed, hanging our heads, trying not to giggle, at the fiasco we were in. Auntie Pearlie stood at the path looking very cross. Auntie Pearlie reached for the hose and turned on the cold water fast and gave us a blast. The water spraying both my cousin and myself, hosing off the mud. Auntie Pearlie made sure she rinsed it all off, all of the poo in the mud. The water was very cold. Brrr, brrr. And by now, our giggling had got very old. We shivered and, and shook, and by the time it was through and Auntie Pearlie turned the hose off, the funniness had surely diminished. Off to the bath we were sent, in our sad, sorry state, even though we were already dripping wet. Soaking wet, we pulled off our clothes and into the bath we went. Warm bubbles of goodness is what we felt. Now clean and dry with a new set of clothes and feeling much better, we both did admit. But doing time out on our beds was definitely not a hit for our naughty behaviour. Over hot chocolates in the farm kitchen that night, Auntie Pearlie told the story to Uncle Jack of our farm fiasco. Cow pack girls, Auntie Pearlie had said, making light of the event. And my cousin and I laughed till we nearly cried. Cow girls gone wrong, our other Auntie Audrey replied, putting in her bit. Girls having plenty of fun, but now it's bedtime. Uncle Jack.